by 1954, the seven original scrolls that had been discovered were in the hands of the State of Israel. All of those were quickly published, and they have absolutely nothing to do with the publication fight that you may remember from the 80s and early 90s and from all those accusations about the Dead Sea Scrolls not being published. Let me, by the way, point out right now before we go on that all of the Dead Sea Scrolls now are published. In commentaries and editions of Hebrew text and English translation, there is nothing hidden nowhere, not by the State of Israel, not by the Vatican, not by anybody else, certainly not by me, and I have no scrolls in my pocket that haven't been published. Now I want to begin by saying that vis-a-vis -vis the scrolls, there are three types of scrolls among the Qumran collection. And when I say scrolls now, I mean what would have been scrolls in antiquity, whether a full scroll today, as in the Isaiah scroll, or a fragmentary scroll. That is to say, we have first what we call group one is Bible. You have there parts of every book of the Hebrew scriptures except for the book of Esther. There's some kind of a debate about why that book isn't there. Some people think it wasn't in their Bible. Some people, including myself, because the book is quoted, believe that it was part of the Bible, but it just doesn't survive by coincidence. Because to give you an example, for Ezra hyphen Nehemiah, which is really one book originally, the piece that survives is about two inches by three inches. So if when the Bedouin were loading stuff onto donkeys, something fell on the floor, or if somebody happened to drop a fragment in the scroll of the museum, we would be saying that there is no copy of Esther. So I frankly have taken the view that since they quote it, they probably had it. But in any case, group one is Bible with no Esther. By the way, this is a good time to point out that despite some newspaper claims to the contrary, there is no New Testament at Qumran. The text that was said to be New Testament had five letters on one line, three on another. The only completely preserved word is the Greek word chi, which means and. And furthermore, in order to claim that it's the book of Mark, you have to restore the text to create a reading in the book of Mark, which is not attested in any manuscript whatsoever. So unfortunately, we don't have New Testament at Qumran. 